Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Chevity Craft. Uh, this is Scooch42, and today I've uh, been pretty busy. Uh, I've upgraded a bunch of the dynamos downstairs, and I was just about... I think we may need some more of these. I was just about to head out... See if we can't get a couple more of those. There we go. I'm just about to head out here and hopefully get the Cursed Earth mob farm going. Uh, we basically just need this drop of evil. Uh, before I do that, though, let's see here. We don't want to basically set this thing up. Ooh, so how do I want to do that? I want to set this up so that uh, the thing that I have coming out of here, there we go. Oh. Hello, sir. Instead of having a whole bunch of different ender chests, I don't see why I can't just uh, basically route uh, the stuff that's going to be coming from this mob crusher thing. There we go. And link it over here so that it's just pulling out of there and popping into our buddy over here. I don't want you to connect there. There we go. Maybe something like that. There we go. I think that's what I want. So if I don't think I want you connecting there. Cool. Okay, so that I think is what I want to see. So all that's left is really the scary part. We'll do something like this. And then something like this. There we go. See, you're going to extract always active. Uh, you're going to extract. And you are not getting any power. Why are you getting any power, sir? You are getting power. What in the world? Interesting. You should be getting power. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like you were just connected right there. I see. I need to get some better power conduits. Okay. Apparently I never hooked those up. That's what's up. Well, hopefully that's something we can fix pretty easy. Uh, looks like it. So I think I've got the storage under control down there. So this hopefully is the last little bit of stuff to replace. There we go. So you should be doing your thing now. Cool. And let's see. You should be getting stuff. Kind of hard to tell, but I think Yeah, you're inserting Okay, so that should be working. And we should be getting these tons of drops. Okay, good. Looks like we are finally starting to get something over there. Cool, cool, cool. That means I should be able to start putting most of this stuff back. Jeez. most of it so what we should have now is a pretty cool cursed earth mob spawner and when I turn the lights on in there that should shut those guys off and I've just got a little wireless uh, redstone transmitter and a wireless receiver in there so we can turn the lights on and off lights go off they start spawning again you're getting power, you're getting stuff. Cool, so there's just a little bit left uh, that we'll need to sort out. So let's see, like this guy. There's no place for you. So let's come over here. And let's see, where's a good place? Maybe right there. So now any more of those that we get should go right there. And it looks like we're doing pretty good. At least I think so, so far. But you should still be going pretty strong. And this side... This side shouldn't take near as much. Oh yeah, we're getting bunches of this stuff too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool.
Well, that's cool. Very interesting. Huh. Very interesting indeed. What I should do is find a little bit more dirt, I guess. There we go. Now we're talking. Let's put some of this stuff up. A little bit more dirt. And among some of the drops that we should start seeing in there are more ender pearls. Uh, looks like we're getting some stuff, so I'm probably going to have to set up a trash can at some point. Back. Let's go ahead and shut that back. Well, we'll just shut. There we go. Turn the lights on. That's what I was trying to say. We'll turn the lights on over here and give this guy a break. And I'll probably take a little bit of a break talking about breaks uh, while we're at it. Uh, and I'll probably craft up some kind of a trash can. I will figure out some way. There we go. I uh, will figure out some better way of uh, managing all the junk that we don't want. Uh, let's see, because like I mean, all these extra bows, uh, I might try to save some of this stuff. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and when we come back, I think we will probably work a little bit more on the power gen side. Uh, we'll probably come down here and work a little bit more with the power because there's some stuff down here that we should go over for sure so uh back in a all right everyone we are back uh so what i had to do uh basically i had to deal with a bunch of extra stuff <laughs> uh it was quite the little chore and you see i'm still kind of dealing with it here i'm getting all kinds of gold and stuff uh it's working really really well i mean a little too well you can see all the stuff in here it's not even uh it's not even picking it up so let's see I think if I just right click on it, yeah, if I right click on this for just a little bit, it'll fill this book up. And this, this is pretty crazy. So one of the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to try swapping out uh, the capacitors in there. Uh, that's in the, that's probably good for now. So I've been adding this uh, experience. Once I add it to the Stone of Knowledge, I can add those levels to mine which is pretty cool. Uh, let's pop in here for a second. And what I think we should do is let's see if we can trade you out. There we go. And let's just kind of maybe pop you guys on the ground. All right. So hopefully this will use a lot less power. Let's go take a look, see at the power situation. I think that was part of why it was burning it up so fast, was because we had that double layer capacitor in there. So let's see what you're kind of doing now. That's a little bit more reasonable. And one of the other things I had to do I was I made this enchantment extractor. I, I had to do all this stuff really, really quick. See, there's a bunch of enchantments on this one. But I think what I would like to do, and one of the other things I did real quick... I was I did go ahead and make myself a full set of the uh, dark steel armor, uh, which is pretty cool. 
see. Let's pop you in there and you in there. You can just go in there for a minute and you can too. Let's see if we can't get these enchantments off of here real quick. Because I think what I'd like to do is try to upgrade and enchant this dark steel armor uh, in this last little bit of, of the episode today. There we go. I guess it helps if we... There we go. <laughs> One more. So this is what I've been doing to get gold. Uh, I had to, I did actually have to go mine uh, a good amount of gold as well. So we can get the rest of you guys in there now. And I've got a little chest up here to hold all of our extra books. There we go. Might as well get that last little guy out of there. And we'll go through these in just a minute, because uh, one of the things I want to do, and this is one of the reasons I uh, wanted to get that mob farm up, is so we have plenty of experience for uh, taking care of this armor stuff with. Uh, so let's see, over here, uh, let's see, let's say I want to do night vision. Right, uh, let's see... This guy, so I need a potion of night vision for that. So we're going to need a golden carrot, some awkward potions, and some blaze powder. So let's get our blaze powder in there. So I've got a brewing stand right here. I hijacked this from one of the cities. There we go. So we need awkward potions. Which is nether wart and water bottles. Okay, so we'll need a few water bottles. That's probably good. So do I have access to water anywhere super close? I think probably out here is the quickest. Aw. We won't let me pull it right out of there. Isn't that a shame? Alright. Oh, here's some water over here. Okay. Oh, and I don't have my boots on. That was one of the reasons uh, I did this was uh, these I got out of a loot bag, I think, and it's got, uh, what is it, like feather falling or something on there? What is it? Uh, no, it's just uh, part of the uh, dark boots, fall damage negated when powered. So since, we, the, since they're powered, uh, it's kind of like having feather falling. Oops. Come on back. <laughs> All right. All right, so three of you guys go in there. And then another wart, which I think I have out here. Another wart. Always in the last place you look. There we go. Okay, so if I pop another wart in there. We got a little 
progress bar there. So we want night vision is what we actually want, right? Potion of night vision. So for that, we need a golden carrot. So let's go get a golden carrot while we're waiting on this thing to brew. Pretty sure that all of my carrots are in here. Or at least most of them anyway. So we'll need one of those. Uh, golden carrot. There we go. Nice. So if I pop you in here, that should give us our night vision. I believe that is the case. Ocean of night vision. So... If we combine okay this is what I want right here or isn't there a way potion of night vision plus four levels so I should just be able to do this and that and I need four, yeah. I don't know why I was thinking that was more complicated than it is. So what is our night vision? Let's see, is that good? No. There we go. Oh, was it because of that? Uh, I was wondering why it wasn't working, so I didn't have it on. Cool. All right, so I have night vision now. That is awesome. Let's see what else we want to get on these guys. Uh, I did make a glider for this already. Uh, that was actually pretty cool. So that's going to help us uh, get around a lot better. It was this guy. So we needed two glider wings. Just some leather and some dark steel. And you combine two of the wings with two, dark, two more dark steel. And you can get the glider wings, which you combine uh, in the anvil here. Now let's see. We could do... Empowered two. These boots are already maxed out almost. I think the only thing we can put on it is a piston, which we really don't need. Now the potion of swiftness, that might be cool. So that's just sugar with some awkward potions. So that was just a little bit of another wart. And then hopefully sugar. Nice. Very nice indeed. Now let's see over here another wart. Cool. And let's see what else. Hmm. I definitely want to get these up to the next empowered level. And I'm kind of wondering. So 
So I think that sound means it's done. Yep. And sugar. I know I took more than I needed, but I kind of want to check on something too. Um, where did I put? Oh, there it is. Okay. So if I do U and a basic capacitor, that's going to cost six, and that sends your attack damage up to seven, eight, nine. And so this guy. I've also upgraded the crap out of, and he's up to a 12.46, so I don't really think it's worth doing it on the Ender, because I don't know how much longer I'll be using that since we have a staff of traveling, uh, but what it might be worth doing it on actually might be the legs, and how much would it be to do it, it cost 8 to do that? May as well. There we go. Now let's get these guys charging. Check on our potions over here. Speed potions, cool. We should be able to add a speed potion to this guy now. Or a potion of swiftness, I guess. And we need four for that. Cool. So if I put these on... I'm going to say that's noticeably quicker. This is just walking. That's about as fast as we were running before. So I think combined with the uh, movement speed of the uh, Sojourner Sash uh, and these guys, I think that's doing pretty good. These guys, like I said, we could do a piston and get that jump three. We may as well do it, I guess. Uh, let's get a few more of the basic capacitors if we can. Yeah, at least two of them sounds good. Because we still have, yeah. Well, the boots are already powered up, right? So we really only need the one, I guess. And I guess we could go ahead and do the Ender anyway now. Now, let's see. Let's make sure we add it to this one. And that needs six. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. One at a time, please. There we go. And then we wanted to put, I think, the piston on the boots with eight, right? Cool. So there's nothing else we can do to the boots. They are fully maxed out. And see, double layer capacitor for that guy, but let's go ahead and get him charged up. Nice. All right, so I think we are actually really starting to look pretty good. Let's uh, take a look at our power levels. Uh, still in a respectable range. We're under a thousand a tick, uh, which is better than I expected. So I think. Yeah, these guys are actually gaining power. And this guy, when he gets uh, almost full, stops letting in a signal and then doesn't start accepting a signal until it drains about halfway. Uh, so that conserves on fuel. Uh, the smaller capacitor did, in fact, seem to be the answer over there. So we should be getting uh, tons and tons of uh, blaze rods now. Cool. All right, so I think this is probably a pretty good place to wrap up the episode. 
Uh, we got quite a bit done. Uh, we got a way better suit of armor. We've got our mob farms up and running. Uh, I think we're getting ready to uh, really start uh, diving really a lot deeper uh, into some of the more uh, advanced parts. Uh, so hopefully that stuff will be coming up soon. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section uh, about the series and uh, how you're liking things. Thanks again for stopping by today, guys, and take care.